if you have this power supply, make sure that it's not plugged in. When it is plugged in, even in standby mode, this light will flash orange. When it's full power mode, it will have green. Even after you unplug it, it still stores a charge until it fully powers down. So if it was plugged in, let it sit for half hour to be safe, 20 minutes, half hour or more, just to make sure I can't be held responsible if you uh, shock yourself. Now we're going to work on our power supply for the printer. I like to use the Xbox 360 power supply. Um, there are about three different kinds of these. You should pick the one that is 203 watts and delivers 16.5 amps at 12 volts. Make sure it's this kind, otherwise you'll be the power of the printer, you won't be the power of a heated bed if you use the other kind. Also, this kind has a plug that is like this. Make sure that the one you buy has this type of plug and has these type of specifications. Inside of here, there are a couple wires. We're going to disassemble this and actually cut this off right below the connection. I may use a different pair of shears for this. It will take off the end of the connector. They will cut down this housing. There is shielding in here. We're going to get past that. That's what we want down there. Now inside here, we're going to carefully cut to expose these wires. We want to cut this outside gray sheathing that holds the other wires. The reason I like using the Xbox power supply is because one, UL listed, so it's been tested and vetted for use in the home by Underwriters Laboratory. Two, as thermal and overload protection. Okay, the wires we'll be using. You have Four black wires that we want to separate on their own. Four yellow wires that will separate. And 
and a red and blue wire. Like conventional electronics, the black wire is the ground. These are yellow are the positive. And these control power on and standby. If we connect these two together, the power supply will be will turn on and will show green when plugged in. If it's plugged in without the red and blue being connected, it'll be in standby mode and you'll see that amber colored light instead of a green light. These wires will extend these out, we'll splice in a longer set of wires to these and this is where we'll install a switch so we can turn the printer on and off. These wires will splice together and make the power connectors for the ramps for the ramps Arduino and for the printer itself. So it's, but instead of using um continue to use yellow, once we splice these all together, we'll solder on a twelve gauge piece of red wire to this and a twelve gauge piece of black wire to this. So that we so in the future we know which one is actually um positive and negative. So we'll splice these down. So now I'm just gonna with the longer strand twist these more without twisting the actual wire housing. These we just want the wire strands itself to twist, not At the wire housing. Some longer blue wire, because these end up going right to the power switch. We're just connecting two wires in the end. I'll do this one the way uh, NASA recommends, and that is creating a mechanical connection and then soldering that connection. If I was a NASA engineer and I was tasked with making a solder connection, electrical connection, the way they would do it, let me move this over here to make this easier. Tailwind. The way they would do it is to hook the connections hooked to each other, we have a mechanical bond, and then solder that bond, this is supposed to be a secure solder connection. That bond is a lot, is very strong. I think we'll do the same thing with a uh, red wire. So our mechanical connection just as before.
Okay, we're going to protect these solder points on the red and blue wire with a uh, heat shrink. I'm going to wrap electrical tape around it and then heat shrink on top of it just to make sure that the fit is pretty snug. If you have heat shrink that is the appropriate size, feel free to just use that. Okay, for the positive power connector, I'm going to have three strands of wire, not three strands, three pieces of wire. Um, two heavier gauge pieces. These will actually power the ramps, the heat bed, the extruder, all the uh, more power intensive components of the printer. We have a third strand that will split off of this as well. This will power more of the lightweight stuff such as the um, any extra fans, the LED lights, the uh, capacitive sensor, any um, any additional power requirements, we'll use this to feed those. I have all those tied in to the existing wire and notice I use the existing solder spot as a loop to make a, a good mechanical connection. I placed a piece of heat shrink over the red and blue wire that, are, that will control the power on, power off, and power standby for the printer. If I just do this once, I can just crimp this on here, crimp, crimp all the connectors on to my accessory tail ends, and just bolt them together. And then if I have to take it off, it's easy to do. These will plug into the ramps. We have our main printer power here. We have the power for any accessories we choose to add on, such as fans, LED lights, capacitive sensor. They all can hook into here. And we have the cords for our on-off switch.